And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to have a look at the Robin 58. Now, this is for your first time here, if you haven't been here before, please feel free to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. Love to hear from you. So let's get out and have a look. Now, we've gone somewhere totally different again. Do you recognize the map, guys? We're over in sunny Spain, yeah. Faro International is where we, at least where we start this little journey. And we're going to uh, give this Baron a little bit of a run around. I, I want to go and see what it's like when you're flying it at normal speed, what it's like at slow speed, because, again, that's always the most dangerous part for, for pilots. Because low speed is when you do naughty things like spin in and uh, and crash. So look at the model on it. Now this is a default aircraft. You haven't seen it before, guys. So it's certainly a lot of fun. Now the only other thing I want to do as well as uh, towards the end of the video, so please hang around, is we're going to do an engine out, little bit of flying, uh, and a landing on that, and just see what it's like. Because um, I've only ever flown single engine. Uh, in the real world, at least a little bit of it, and uh, I haven't done any dual engine, and uh, probably never likely to do that. So, look at the uh, the detail in the cockpit; really great. So, if you're not sure, you've got uh, the the throttles on the left, guys. The middle ones are actually for your pitch, so you can actually change the pitch of the props, and um, the red is your mixtures. And you can see that little star or little flower gauge in the middle of the controls in the center there of the instrument panel that's telling you that your propellers are synced up so they're going at the same speed so we're climbing away folding the gear up and heading into that uh, little bit overcast blue yonder I guess as we fly around so the performance with the twin engine is really good it's uh, it's pretty fast and uh, I guess it gives you that extra liability of having the twin. So if you happen to lose an engine, um, you're going to uh, have at least something to fly on. And again, well, towards the end of the video, we'll see how well that handles uh, just on one engine. Now, you do have a, a number of uh, trims as well, guys. The normal um, elevator trim you have, but you have uh, down the bottom, and I'll show you in a moment, the trim for the rudder as well which is going to come into play once we lose an engine but for the moment let's have a little fly around scenery is pretty nice this is all default haven't uh, done anything special for it guys but it still looks pretty good doesn't it we're going to roll out now we need to do a few turns I want to do a few turns um, with the power up and the speed up and see how well it handles certainly feels nice now it feels solid just get it all trimmed out okay so let's get ourselves doing a few little turns I think is what we need to do it's pretty quick up there isn't it and it's sleek I have a reputation for being pretty quick Even the chrome on the uh, on the spinners looks really good, doesn't it? Now you see that uh, little prop in the middle turning around? That is telling us that the props are a little bit out of sync. So you're supposed to try and keep them into sync. So just a little gentle left turn. See how that feels. The balls remain pretty much centered there. So um, we're not getting any adverse yaw or any yaw happening. It's quite comfortable. And it's a reasonably steep turn. Let's roll it back the other way and give it a try onto the right. Sometimes aircraft are different between right and left. Depends on the torque of the engines. Um, they have different ways of reacting. That's certainly quite comfortable. Just gaining a little bit of speed in the turn there. A little bit of altitude. So we just need to uh, just level that out. Oh, that's all pretty good. And it, its roll rate is nice, but it's not quick. It's smooth, certainly, it's nice and smooth. So let's do uh, something a little bit steeper, and I've already started to lose some altitude there. So a little bit of back pressure, and it's balancing the back pressure. It is difficult to do. It takes a lot of practice to get it right. 
I'm just moving the pressure try and get it back to uh, zero on as we go around it's pretty steep isn't it you wouldn't be doing too many turns like that especially with passengers in there they'd be thrown up everywhere and we're losing altitude again so we'll roll it out so nice and comfortable to do does need a little bit of practice though to get it, get it right Nice scenery with the town down there. We're going, we'll go right a little bit here. We've got a bit of altitude, a bit over 3,000 feet. Certainly if you're new to this, there's a lot of gauges, a lot of engine stuff to uh, to learn. We've got manifold pressure on. Now my understanding is that manifold pressure is based at the guideline because that tells you what power you're producing and then you can adjust from there. But it's still pretty smooth as we go right and this is a lot better turn i'm not uh, gaining any altitude or losing anything for the most part we go zipping past now i do not know what that black thing it looks like something is crashing over in the distance there it does hit the ground uh, in, in a minute or two but i'm not sure if we're going to see that but i saw it when i was doing the flight so so we go around right again and we'll have a look at how that's looking really really smooth now i've done this in the 4k dsr so it looks really fine you can see that thing just falling back to the ground but i've no clue what it is We'll just move over here. Now, I think what we probably need to do now is a little bit of low speed stuff because I'm always interested to see how that works. I'm just trying. You can see if you adjust the uh, the pitch, that changes the RPM. And if you can get that little fan to stop turning, then you'll have them synced up really nicely between left and right. Got that nice just there. I'm not sure if that is something you would have to constantly adjust in flight. You may do. So we'll bring the throttles back. And we'll let the speed drop back from its uh, about 170 knots. It's really quick. And the speed does fall off pretty quickly, doesn't it? You can see we're already coming back into the white zone. Got a bit of angle of attack happening there. And it does like to warn you that your gears are not the gear isn't down. There's the stall. Just holding the nose up now. This is clean, so it's just a clean stall, and it does like to break to the right. That would be a little bit upsetting if you were um, flying a real one. So that's a clean, that's no flaps, no gear. So, and we lost a, a reasonable amount of altitude in that too. We're back to a bit over a thousand feet, aren't we there? So we get ourselves climb, climbing back up. Climbs pretty well, you know, looking at 2,000 feet per minute as we climb back. I've upset the artificial horizon. It's uh, now broken, unfortunately. I don't think you're supposed to do anything too violent in a barren. And we're maintaining about 115 there, 110 knots as we climb up. Just trying to stay local to the airport so we can get back and do a quick landing when we're ready. So let's have a, another try. I think we need to slow down and give it another go. Maybe we can do it with gear, possibly. But the uh, yeah, the artificial horizon's dead. We go and spend some money with the Teco, get him to fix it for us when we land. So bringing the throttles back again we'll go with some flaps this time full flaps let's see how this manages now let's look at the wheels up and that's really quite good that's uh, it's just washed wallowed a little bit and uh, and and then it hasn't broken like it did when it was clean so it would seem it's fairly crucial to have your flaps there to, for your handling.
Well, that's good. Um, I would be pretty happy with that, knowing that uh, the aircraft's not doing anything uh, really crazy. So we've got the gear down now. The gear's just coming down. Let's just try it again, gear and flaps, and see how that goes. That makes some difference. It's amazing how much difference it is. It's, it's rock and rolling around a little bit more than I would expect. But it's just losing altitude and we're remaining fairly flat without the power. So again, that's not bad. At least you, it's fairly predictable. So when you get an aircraft drop on a wing, which is going to be nasty, if you happen to make a little bit of a tight turn because you've left your uh, turn on to final uh, a little late, and um, I think everybody is guilty of that at some stage, and you turn it a little bit too tight, it's not going to fall out on you. So let's head back and uh, I think we'll just, we should do a landing, normal config, and then we'll have a go at uh, some engine out flying. So we're just here on base, turning in on final. Now this handles again pretty nicely, but it does need the power. It uses a lot of power to, uh, to maintain flight in this low speed. You've got to keep it up there with all the drag, the gear and the flaps all hanging out. It doesn't like to uh, to have the power come back too much. I'm just sinking a little bit there, but bringing it back onto the uh, onto the glide slope. Really need to adjust the sitting position just a little bit so you can see over the nose a little better. Just a little bit left of centre, and it is trying to fall out on me. I'll keep that power up. Just powered back in again. That needs a bit of practice to get that smooth, and I'm going to land a little long as well. And we'll hold the nose up, bring the power back, and uh, get ourselves uh, safely back on the ground. Hold that nose up. Bit of jet fighter flying, hold that nose up for the drag. So that was good, that was, that was pretty impressive. So let's have a go at um, flying this great little aeroplane around uh, with only one engine and see what that's like. So bringing the left engine back. both engines back and up so yeah, you can move them individually it does make a bit of a difference you can see that that little propeller is going nuts in the middle of the instruments there it's because the engines are not synced up nicely you can see how much rudder I've got in down there just check the pedals out guys I've got a fairly big boot of rudder in there But we're able to maintain still 120 odd knots there, just at the top of the white zone. So it's not too bad. At least you, you, what you can do is go down and trim it. Um, there's a trim wheel uh, down at the bottom right of the control panel there, which we'll do in a moment. But interesting just to see how much rudder you need to keep uh, the aircraft stable and flat. And there we go. So it, the engine is still running as you can see there um, it doesn't show you much difference but it's uh, the left engine is back at uh, a near idle and you can see there's a fair bit of deflection on the rudder there as well so we're slowing up just seeing how it goes now you can see the um, the rudder adjustment down there just in bottom picture there in the center um, you can just use your mouse and drag that across and set up uh, an amount of rudder trim in there and that will mean you'll have to not have to worry about the uh, the rudder so much so just adding a little bit of right trim just seeing how much I need so that I can then reduce the the rudders the rudder input because that's going to be pretty tiring doing that for uh, uh, an hour at a time or something like that. We have to fly away to get to a, a new airport. So we've got that reasonably well balanced. Now this is uh, 1134 as well guys, so um, not very much new in 1134. It was just some bug updates um, and little fixes, but uh, performance is still really good on up in the well into the 40s on FPS flying in the Baron, so really happy with that, it was about 45, 48 I think. 
open. You can open that little glass door as well if you want a bit of fresh air. But it's handling really well. It's it's good, even back on, on the one engine. On the one engine at idle. Now, it could, could make a little bit of a difference once you... Um, if you feather or turn off the left engine or feather it so that the um, engine's not running at all, um, there may be some more differences. And you want to set up the the pitch on the on the on the blades as well. So we're going to kill that left engine now. I've removed the fuel from it, so it's going to die. And feathering the prop, which making sure it's pointing directly forward or as forward as possible, and that stops a lot of uh, additional drag that you're not going to want. So we've got the left engine all off. And I think we'll go and try and uh, land it. I'm going to do too much with it in this situation. You want to be quite careful with it. Be very gentle on your inputs, keeping it nice and level, watching your power especially. And just over 120 knots, so still on one engine. That's pretty impressive. Okay, I think we're getting ready to land here. We've uh, got gear and flaps. That's a few warning lights there. The alternator's obviously not working. It's being told to start the engine. That's good. You can actually see the, the prop just quivering a little bit in the airflow. I think that's a really nice touch. It just gives that, that extra little bit of uh, realism, doesn't it? The town out there ahead. Scenery is really good. It's not bad, is it? Uh, we can go out and ortho the whole uh, whole world, but we can just need <laughs> need a big hard drive to do that, don't we, guys? So let's get the power back and let's get ourselves on the ground, and let's hope it's all in one piece too. Keep our passengers happy. I really highly recommend getting out and giving this. Uh, uh, Baron a fly guys if you haven't done it it's uh, it's good I think we we'll spend a little bit more time flying around as well now uh, while you're here remember we've got letsflyvfr.com if you're looking for uh, any new stuff there I've got to do a bit of work on that website and make it a little better but uh, it's certainly there and if you're still here thank you for hanging with me and flying in the Baron today and uh, feel free to that subscribe button if you're not already we're heading into the 900s as as I do this hoping to get to that thousand in the next uh, well hopefully in the next couple of months or so now I've been a little bit late on my turn altitude altitude's right just letting that roll in it is a bit more of a handful like this too guys so I'm just wanting to drop that right, right wing a little bit there we go power off nose up little bit trying to level it on the ground and there we are safe so we made it safe in the barren so we've done some single engine we've done some controls to see how well this uh, beast flies and uh, it's been a lot of fun so i'll catch you back here and let's fly vfr again sometime in the very near future and all have a really great day bye bye